happening man I got the draggy today we're gonna be testing out 60 to 130s and we're gonna see what's faster this is something that I've always been you know interested in I mean I'm pretty sure I know which one is faster but I just want to know by how much and you just never know you know so today we're gonna be testing 60 to 130s letting the car shift by itself and then me shifting manually I'm pretty sure letting the car shift by itself is the faster way to go but you know from time to time it does lag the shift like sometimes I've lost a lot of races due to that races that you know maybe I would have lost anyways but it just seems like especially around like I don't know if it's third or fourth gear it gets real laggy like it'll take too long to shift so I'm interested to see if I could do better obviously um, I'm gonna have to do pretty good to be a perfect shift on you know the car itself but we shall see man if you guys are interested to see who will win this me or the car stay tuned because we got that coming for you right now and we ain't gonna waste no time next time you see me we will be in Mexico and we will be getting ready to get this thing started so if you guys do enjoy like comment subscribe it helps out tremendously I appreciate it greatly it does help out a lot to get this channel to the next level because we got some big things on the way mile. man and the quicker we get there the better it is for everybody you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna see you guys in a minute a little longer than a few minutes later all right so we about to get this thing started I'm gonna start off by letting the car shift by itself we'll do about three runs with that and then we'll go to three runs me shifting on my own and the car is in track mode and I will be starting from around like a 40 so here we go baby on that one I 
wasn't able to get the facial reaction, but 12.7 on that one. So I think I'm ready to shift on my own. Same exact thing, I'm gonna start around 40. The car's in track mode and I'm gonna shift on my own. So we about to see, man, we about to see how good of a shifter I can be with paddles, you know? And in a future video sometime soon, I'm also going to incorporate the shift knob as well. So I, I wanna see how the paddles do compared to the shift knob. And you know, we already got the numbers for the car going by itself. So we could compare it to the shift knob as well if it does better than the paddles. I don't know, that is yet to be determined. But one thing with the with the shift knob as opposed to the paddles is I could keep the car in automatic and still use the paddles. And if I mess up, it won't redline on me. But if I'm using the shift knob and I mess up, that thing's gonna redline. So that's one thing you gotta be aware of when you're using the shift knob. I think we might be lit right now, let's see. the other one.
hard shift by itself and those weren't perfect shifts by any means that first one was a good shift and it actually gave me a little boost but after that i missed a couple just because it's a little congested over here in mexico today and remember guys i don't recommend that you guys do any of this stuff even whether you're in mexico wherever you're at on a closed road nobody around you know make sure you guys are being safe out there don't make any dumb decisions don't put anybody else's lives in danger even your own man you know you got to think about yourself um and think about others as well i definitely don't do this stuff to try to you know promote any sort of reckless behavior whatsoever so just make sure you guys are being smart out there i always take myself and other people into consideration whenever doing anything uh, that's why i go to mexico i go to these closed roads where there's nobody else around you know where i put nobody else in danger so just make sure you guys are taking that into account you know but yeah man we're about to head back right now get to a little spot with some shade and we'll talk about the numbers took my spot I guess I ain't the only one that knows about that spot huh that's the best spot around here man how they gonna take my spot man it's the only spot with some shade god damn it they must not know man what the if y'all watching this man that thing sounds so nasty man so nasty gas when I do that. I can't stop though, man. Can't stop. Won't stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's addicting. You know, they say smiles per gallon. All right, ladies and gents, we have pulled up to a different spot with some shade. And uh, yeah, man, I've learned at doing these videos i learned kind of late you know i was just being lazy before i would just do them right there where i was at the sun beaming down on me sweat dripping like felt like i was in a damn sauna now i could just chill and relax and talk to you guys you know converse tell you guys about how i'm feeling what i'm thinking all right let's stop bullshitting man let's get to the business all right so the first one and i barely made it to 132 uh this was the very first one letting the car shift for me of course and it was a 13.49. I actually got a better one than that uh, shifting on my own. But that was the very first one, all right? So next, we got a 12.6, which isn't bad. Oh, damn, I got a 12 before? Oh, do we, we were actually going kind of slow today. My best is a 12 all time. So 12.64 would look like the best today. That was the best one out here today. 12.64, letting the car shift by itself. The next one was a 12.7. And then we switched over to shifting on my own. And uh, the first one, 13.3. Not bad, you know, better than the first one I did, letting the car shift on its own. Uh, the next one, 13.6 and the one after that 13.3 and i will say i didn't get perfect shifts on each of those so i kind of i wanted to do it some more so i could get some perfect shifts but it's a little hot today um the open road in mexico that i usually go to a little congested and like i was telling you guys earlier i don't like putting anybody in danger including myself so um i didn't want to risk it you know i would rather do it when it's a closed road you know nobody out there so i didn't really want to go um, more than i had to but yeah man perfect shifting 
I, it would cut down some tenths of a second. Um, I don't know if I could get it all the way down to 12, but you never know, man, from 13.3, pretty much what I expected. You know, the car shifting on its own, everybody knows for the most part, that's the way to go, man. If your car can shift on its own like these chargers, uh, like these Mopar vehicles can, then that's always gonna be the best way to go. And this pretty much proves it right here. I don't know if anybody has put out a video. I didn't really look it up to see if anybody did. Uh, I just decided I would do it, you know? But there you guys have it. If you guys wanted some confirmation on that, there it is. But like I said, everybody pretty much already knew that it was the best way to go. You could pretty much tell, like, I'm sure people have done it while racing. And, you know, they've lost races shifting on their own. And then they've won races with the same people letting the car shift by itself. So in the future, like I said, I am going to do one with the shift knob. See which is better. So what up, cuz? <laughs> All right, back to it. My bad. I just seen my cousin right now. Um, what were we talking about? I think I was saying that I'm gonna do a video in the future, uh, the shift knob versus the paddle shifters. So that's a that's one that I'm interested in. This one, I was kind of like, you know, I was pretty sure that it was gonna go the way that it did go, but I don't really know what's gonna win on on the paddle shifters versus the shift knob. So that one is a little more interesting to me. I'm gonna do that one very soon. We'll do the 60 to 130, and we'll do the zero to 60 as well. And maybe zero to 130 but stay tuned for that hopefully you guys enjoyed this one if you did like comment subscribe it helps out tremendously i appreciate it greatly we got some big things on the way man before i get rid of this we got some more stuff i'm gonna do to it so stay tuned for that got some stuff that you guys are really gonna like and then once i get rid of this we got bigger and better things on the way if you guys don't know why i'm getting rid of this go check the videos in the past all the links are down below in the description for everything i use recommend 1391 apparel stay tuned because we got some new stuff coming up with that the gaming channel all my social platforms but that's pretty much gonna do it guys like i said i appreciate you until the next time who is louis 13 checking out salute <laughs>